Alright, this is going to be a basic introduction to using MATLAB. MATLAB is a matrix programmer, like it's a mathematical matrix programmer, it deals with matrices, it's very powerful in engineering, like you can use it for applications in signals, electromagnetics, um, you can use it for a lot of different applications in mathematics. Um, so I'm basically just going to show you some features, some basic features and what you could do specifically alright so you would write if you, you just define a variable say like a equals and now if you want to put it in a matrix form you would say you put in numbers two three this corresponds to a row and then when you want to finish the row you put you put a semicolon when I write it like that it's gonna be a 3x3 three three matrix and when you press enter it'll print it out like that so far it's easy now you could declare another matrix like this you say so if I have another matrix like that now what you could do is you do C equals A plus B you could do something like that or you could say D equals A times B you will get up in this now you could do this is like so much stuff you could do you could do determinant of D and you get a really bad number when you did that or you could say inverse of D and you get the inverse matrix also you there's like uh, so much features you could do but like I'm just gonna show like some basic uh, other properties so if you say like T well if you want to define like a variable say T equals 0 0 0.01 till 2 till 1 so basically this is the this is the starting value this is the increment and this is the ending value so if you do something like that you say t is equal to that and now you say um y equals sine sine of t you will end up getting that now we could say plot y it should give you well it gives you a, a graph like this but we should say plot T1. Hmm. It should be the scaling, but we plotted a sine graph. Now, you could do so much stuff. There's like, you use like Laplace transform. Oh, it's not working. Um. You do fast Fourier transform. Laplace transform is not working, but you could do fast Fourier transform, which will give you the. It takes the results from the time domain and puts it in the frequency domain. So you could plot y. Wait, if we do z equals fast Fourier transform of y, if you do a semicolon here, it won't print out the values. It just gives you. It puts the thing in. So if we do the fast Fourier transform of y and then we go plot z we'll get the frequency spectrum and this is the frequency spectrum of y it doesn't look that nice but uh, yeah there's a lot of different commands like and you could design your own filters low pass filters and there's so much stuff but this is just a basic tutorial of just showing an introduction to using it there's also a function like cosine you could do cosine of t and basically just prints out all the values but you could just like I said you could just press cosine of t and put a semicolon and you'll neglect showing all these values um, what else to show you there's like you could